Y'all remember in The Matrix, they had a lady that played the Oracle? It was the same lady in the first and second movies, but when it got to the third movie, Revolutions, it was a different lady that played the Oracle. And I remember the scene where Morpheus and Trinity kind of just looked at each other like, what? <laughs> it's kind of how I feel about this 3V gear Sabrosa. So it's been a while since we talked about 3V gear and the Sabrosa. If you guys could check my old reviews, I think it was one of my top five packs under a hundred bucks. It was the Sabrosa. It was a square pack back then. Now I guess I would call that a version one. It was a square pack. I think it was like 20 something liters. Now, you know, 3V Gear dropped the Sabrosa, didn't have it for a while. Then they came out with this redesign. And I think I like the redesign pack a little bit better than the, the older one. So this one right here is 30 liters, still a budget champ. This pack is a 500D Cordura pack, so you know it's super tough, super strong. If you guys haven't watched my reviews before, I'm gonna give you some of the specs. Then we're gonna go to the cooler sections, what I think are some of the cooler sections. But since we're talking about this pack as a budget, as a budget champ, let's go ahead and talk about the price up front. That's how I like to do this. So this pack right here was $74.95. It's a little creeped up a little bit, because I, I wanna say the old Sabrosa was like 45 bucks. Yeah, because it was like, it's like imprinted on my brain how cheap. <laughs> that pack was and how good it was for how cheap it was so they kind of raised the price a little bit you know times have changed but we're gonna run through this pack so let me give you the dimensions really quickly i already told you it's a 30 liter pack right here it's 19 inches tall it's 13 inches wide and it's nine inches of depth this pack right here it, it's got a classic shape a classic design on this pack but i think 3v gear made it their own. So I'm gonna take you to the coolest sections. What I would say are the, the coolest thing about this thing is one, I like the look of it. I, I like the look of this pack. It's giving me Go Ruck GR1 vibes and I'm all about that. So that's kind of, I, I enjoy that. And it's also giving me a lot of organization. So I, I mean, it's almost too much organization Let's just get into it. All right, so let me show you the organization. You, like I said, you got 500D Cordura on the front. Deep old pocket right here in the front goes all the way down. That's pocket number one. Y'all keep y'all keep count of the pockets, all right? So then here's, an, here's another pocket, all right? This one comes all the way down in like a full clamshell. You got pockets on the lid right here. Nice mesh. It's not like mystery ranch quality mesh but it's really good, like it. YKK zippers on the on this pack right here. And even on the large, on the largest section, they put a number 10 YKK zippers. Way to go 3V gear to step your game up. Inside, you got this, you know, organizational admin panel. Count all the pockets in here. There's a lot, a lot of pin slots and everything. I got one went back to basics in my EDC in this pack. So I got the Lumatop EDC tool flashlight right here. $19.99, that's how much that costs. And this is not, I guess this is not a, a, a budget knife. This is the Spyderco uh, Para 3 Lightweight. I just can't get it out of my hands, man. This thing is, it's an ugly knife. This is an ugly knife, but I mean, the functionality and the weight, this is not a this is not a knife review, George. Move on. We're talking about backpacks here. You got some pin slots. You got a little mesh compartment here. One thing about this bag is you can leave your pouches at home. There is enough little zipper compartments to take all of your organization. Trust me. Like on the front here, that's where I put my medical, you know, my medical pouch and everything. So. Yeah, I don't know if, you, if you're gonna need like those extra organizers. You can organize a lot of your stuff right here in this in this bag. So they got a little pocket right here. This is probably big enough to slip a tablet. I just slipped in a little moleskin notebook right here in the front. And I'm not mad at the lining either inside of this pack. So it's, it's a really good lining. You got a key keeper inside this organizational panel right here. So that's straight. I actually like that a lot. We'll zip this thing up and we'll continue to count the pockets on this bag. So let's go ahead into the main section. This is the section that has the number 10 YKK zips. 
yes, I like I like the number 10 YKK zips. Not just because I get to say it, just because of the look. The look of the, the number 10 YKK zips is really good. Now, this is not a full clamshell, so this is half. Because you got these water bottle pockets on the side, I guess since I mentioned them, we should just go ahead and talk about them. The water bottle pockets on this pack are actually really good. I really like them. So they got like the, the lay flat, so they, they got the little bungee in the back. Here, I just have a microfiber cloth. They built them so they will take a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle. Thank you very much. So we'll stick this Nalgene bottle right there on the side and it works. And it's tight actually. It's like it's not gonna come out. So I'm, I really appreciate that. So let's go ahead into the main section. You got Sony XM3s. You got a pocket right here on the lid of this, this section. You actually got two pockets right here on the lid. So there's two pockets on the lid on the outside and then you got two pockets on the lid in the interior as well. So yeah, it might, some folks might say it's a pocket overkill. But, you know, you don't have to use all the pockets. I mean, they're there for you if you need them. If you don't need them, don't put your stuff in them. Just, you know, rock how you ever want to rock. One great thing about this 30 liter size, and I'll keep on saying it, is you have the option. You want to use it for a travel bag, you can. You want to do EDC with it, you can. So down here at the bottom, I just packed it out like, hey, you know, I'm going on a little weekend trip. I got my GORUCK little 10 liter packing cube in there so I can stick that down in the bottom and then you also see you got a laptop sleeve back here which will take a 15 inch laptop but the only drawback is I don't think this is suspended I'm feeling my own fingers down here at the bottom of this bag yeah you gotta talk you gotta weigh that in for the price the price of the bag so that's what it is this this laptop compartment also doubles as a hydration sleeve so you can put your hydration back here you want to ruck out with this you even got a little pass through up here behind the handle kind of rip it open hole while we're up here at the handle we might as well talk about it nylon webbing about two inches wide they actually stitch it in really well nice folded over piece of nylon webbing right there for my big hands I can get a really good grab on it I'm not mad at anything they've done thus far in this pack. One thing that I don't want to jump over is the front of this pack, which I think was really creative the way that they did this. So I was looking at the front of the pack like, what, what's going on at the top here? This is actually a morale patch field. So this is like, you know, the 3V gear morale patch and you could just stick it right here up on that field. And it just blends so well <laughs> with the rest of the bag. I'm telling you, this 500D Cordura is nice. Let's flip around to the back. They did some things really well here on the back, back panel, harness system, and then some things I could say they could do a little bit of improvement. One thing that they did really right is these shoulder straps and the width. The, I had to take a tape measure to them because I was like, God damn, these shoulder straps are so wide. I have, I have no problem distributing the weight on your shoulders, you know, whatever you want to carry. So this is a larger pack. So I'm really glad that they went with a wider shoulder strap. I think I measured this out at like three and a half inches. So that's really good. Down here, well up here, they did a, some great stitching. You got box stitching on the shoulder straps. You got box stitching on the handle. So, and, and, 3V Gear offers a lifetime warranty with their packs for 74 bucks. You get a lifetime warranty. I know some pack companies out there charging a whole bunch more that don't give you that. So, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So you got a sternum strap right here. There you go. Sternum strap, you guys already know me. It's a 30 liter packet. And once I get to like 40 liters, that's when I want to keep it on. But 40 liters and lower, mm, you know. It's vintage shoulder straps on the back. So we got great venting right here. You know, you got some loop daisy chains. So if you guys are the guys that want to attach stuff to the outside of your pack, you can attach whatever you want to the outside of your pack right here. Now we get to this back panel. This is something that they did in the original Sabrosa is they did this raised back panel. It gives you de decent airflow on the back, you know, not, it's not, it's not the greatest. It's not the worst. It's sufficient. I actually like it. One thing that, another thing that I don't like about the way that they put in 
and not everybody's gonna use this, is the CCW compartments. This is a CCW backpack. So you guys can see I put my nine millimeter representation back here on this hook and loop panel. You can find these hook and loop holsters. A lot of places sell them, Vertex sells them. This is a Maxpedition holster, uh, Tactical Taylor. I mean, the list of people that sell them goes on and on. Um, but you can feel this, this, this weapon all in your back all in your back if you put a weapon back here so for longer runs uh for longer you know you, you you're doing a long day and you're carrying this weapon yeah you're gonna feel that um this this cushion is decent but it's not thick enough for this steel like if, if you had steel back here you would feel it after especially if the bag was packed out so that's one thing i could have seen them improve but i see a lot of backpack companies put the CCW compartment right here in the back. So you really, really can't knock them too, too bad for that because it's kind of like an industry standard. But if it, if I had it my way, I would put it uh, somewhere else. Somewhere you can't, you don't have to fill it in your back. One last thing about these shoulder straps. They do some great strap management on these shoulder straps. They got a little Velcro tie just to hold the straps down. I just wanted to mention it because I thought it was a nice little subtle detail that they added in. But yeah, man, this is the 3V Gear Sabrosa. I think there's a hell of an improvement on the bag, made it a little bit bigger. I don't know if it took feedback from people or what, but it's like a whole different bag. Like that lady in the Matrix was a whole different, a whole different lady at the end of the at the end of that movie. So definitely like this. Lots of organization. I got I lost count of the pockets, man. There's a lot of pockets, a lot of places where you can organize this bag however you want. And it's a super light bag because I forgot about the weight. It's 1.1 pounds. Super, super light for a 30 liter pack. So I actually liked it a lot, man. I got no compliance. If you ask me, George, should I buy this pack for $74.95? I'm going to tell you, hell yes. Pick it up. <laughs> Pick it up, especially because it's got a lifetime warranty. So you beat on it beat on it and you beat on it some more. And if something goes wrong, you say, hey, 3V gear, something happened with my pack. Can you come help me out? And they have excellent customer service over there. So I know that they will. So yeah, I, it's definitely a buy for me. I, I think this is a budget champ. It's right in there. You know, something to consider. Plus it's a gray man style. I like that a lot. Guys, thanks for watching George Define. If you like this video, Please hit the thumbs up button, man. It helps the video go out to more people. And that, that's important. Get people up on this $74 pack, man. $75, let's round it up. And if you got a question, leave it down there in the comments. If you love this content, man, subscribe. Come on in, because we got room for more subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.